based out of Brisbane, trained by Frankie Piatto out of the East Side Boxing Gym. His professional fight record, 10 fights, 10 wins, 7 by way of knockout and the zero losses. He is the reigning, defending Australasian cruiserweight champion. And tonight, he is your challenger for the Australian title. Aiden's Hill makes some noise. This is Floyd B.O.D. And his opponent standing across in the blue corner. He tipped the scales 89.7 kilos. Originally hailing from Townsville, now based out of Brisbane, trained by Carl Winkle at the TK Elite Boxing Gym. 33 fights as a professional, 25 wins, 18 big wins by way of knockout. He is a former Queensland champion. A former WBO and WBA Oriental champion and a former two-time world title challenger. And tonight, he is your current reigning, defending Australian cruiserweight champion. I give you Mark Bam Bam Guys, I give you instructions in dress to respect your by my commands at all times, protect yourselves at all times. Shake hands. So, our combatants, two guys that have sparred countless rounds together. They are mates, they respect each other, they like each other. This is 10 three minute rounds for the Australian and Australasian cruiserweight title 200 pound or 90.9 kilo. Mark Flanagan. In the black trunks, Floyd Masson in the white. Go to the same barber as well. Same beard product. Right hander versus a left hander. I think there was a bet the loser has to shave it off, so they're not going to look alike anytime soon. Definitely the best domestic matchup for 2021, I feel. In the Australian circuit. Two um, big, strong kids, aren't they? Uh, unbelievably mashed. Bam Bam's got that kryptonite in his right hand. And Masson, with that boxing excellence, is mouth-watering. Masson, 10 fights, 10 wins, 7 knockouts. Mark Flanagan, 25 wins, 18 knockouts. So, whilst different style of athlete, both can generate that one-punch goodnight power. I think it should be noted that Mark Flanagan's last fight came to a southpaw. I mean, I know it's a yeah. very different opposition in Jaya Patea, but it was a, he was a southpaw, gave him a bit of trouble that day, so potentially that's something that Floyd Mason could exploit, but he's just been hit with a big right hand and here. he's wobbling. Floyd is wobbling. Wow, Back what a shot. Back to the corner. One minute 20 of the round to go. And Masson is on rubber legs. We've always said he's got that one-punch knockout, Mark Flanagan. No one can take him easy. He said he's been training the house time. It's his best prep ever, he's, he's told everyone. So it's a dangerous assignment here for Floyd Masson. Both guys know what the other is capable of. And both guys will be coming in, having sparred that many rounds, confident of an effective game plan. So far, it's it's Flanagan. He's just waiting with that right hand cocked, isn't he? Well, this is the continuation. There's no feeling out period, like we said earlier on in the piece. There's they, they, they've done that many rounds together. They know what each brings. So it's just it's it's hammer from the first. Oh, it's a good shot there from Masson. Right from the start, it's just go, go, go. No feeling out period here for either boys. Good body shot from Floyd. Last couple of seconds of what has been an intriguing opening round. Masson down, rubber legged, the ice pack. One on the back of the neck and one in the middle of the forehead just trying to settle everything down. 
Doesn't always have that effect. Doesn't always clear. And sparring with uh, Benny Kelleher, uh, Django, heavyweight, Ricky e. Silver, Jackson Welsh, amongst others, as Floyd Masson. So he's he's coming in with quality around him. Yeah, and had a couple of really good scalps on his boxing resume already as well. Christian Zoy, Lance Bryant, Joe Liga, just to name a few. Mm. So. This is another step up again, don't don't get me wrong, but he's you know, he's had a couple of good really fights in lead up to this. There's a good left hand there from Masson. That's what he's gonna do, he's gonna measure with that jab, Masson. He can't he just can't let this big puncher get anywhere next to him. Bam bam, when he's in that close quarters, he can hit you at any time. And drop you as we just saw early on. Oh, there's a good hook, just missing the mark, but getting him back to center ring, which is great. Pushing through the middle of the ring, trying to get Masson back against the ropes. Unmistakable. That look in the eye, the look on the face of Mark Flanagan. Seen it for so many years now, going back to I guess, 2009 when he debuted. Yeah, Masson almost threw a lazy left power hand there and almost paid the price. Oh. He, if he's going to throw the power hand, he has to throw it ultra quick because uh, Bam Bam will be there to capitalise otherwise. Both boys trying to dictate the centre of the ring, but Masson, good movement now, le going left and right. The, you know the old uh, cliche, don't judge a book by its cover. He looks like a rough and tumble lad, doesn't he? In uh, Floyd Masson, the tats and the whatnot. Uh, goes to church twice a week, every Wednesday, every Sunday. Dedicated to his training, won't miss. Point blank, just won't miss. Uh, interestingly, sponsored by Amin's Butcher at West End. He's on a carnivore diet. <laughs> Eats up to two kilos of steak. A day. That's a good sponsor to have then. Oh, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? Some good ribeye and some rump. Some sirloin off the off the sponsor. It was a good right hand, but Masson rode it well, luckily, because he didn't get the full grunt of it. That was a good left hand there from Masson as well. Oh, exchange in the middle of the ring. Mark Bam Bam Flanagan won the Australian Cruiserweight title last fight. That was against uh, Benny Kelleher. We've been in with Jai Opatea. Done some sparring with him also. In the lead up to this fight, along with a couple of others of note. Both guys have come in super sharp. Ready to go. Knocked down in the first round. Floyd Masson down. So a 10-8 round, you'd suggest, for Mark Flanagan. It's a fight changer. When it happens early. Oh, oh. good shot by Floyd. Yeah, really good shot there. This is where he needs to be. He needs to be on the outside. Moving left and right. Bam Bam trying to bite down on the mouth guard. Good body shot there. Good shots down the middle there once again from Masson. Nice strike. Oh, good right hand there from Flanagan. It's going tip for tat here. Boys punching in turns, and this is developing into what I guess we expected. Yep. Oh, good body shot. These are really good punches here from Masson. Rocking the head back of Flanagan, who then goes to the body. Now call time here. Tony Kettle will get in the middle and separate the pair.
Bam Bam Flanagan trying to find a home for that right hand again that he had success with earlier on. Oh, I just missed there, Flanagan. Oh, not a lot in it. Oh. Just caught the side of the neck yeah, almost. Doubling up that right hand into the body, into the head, changing it up. Flanagan. What a fight. <laughs> Punching in turns, all right. Yeah, aren't they? Always dangerous to fight someone that doesn't want to punch in turn. Right, right hand from Flanagan. Backing away as forward, looking to reset and restart with just under half a minute remaining in round number three. This is going to take some twists and turns before this is out. Mason Masson, should I say, really polished in what he does and how he does it. Gets back into that centre ring position. Flanagan, head down, march forward. Good punch by Masson. Yeah, really good shot there. In Left Townsville. Hand. Grew up in the housing commissions there. Didn't have the money to play football and buy the boots and shorts and everything that went with it. So stumbled into a gym with Dennis Clancy and the rest. His history created a uh, wonderful career legacy. He's now based north of Brisbane. I dare say he'll head back up, up to Townsville at some stage. A wonderful uh, boxing career. Yeah, really remarkable story. Flanagan and he's... Uh a beautiful guy to go along yep. with it as well. Just missing with that right hand once again. Oh, trying to double it up. Masson good on his feet. Oh, snapping there. Yeah, good body shot. Straight body shot from Masson once again. And there's the head shot. This is round five. So, Floyd Masson down in the first. Mark Flanagan down in the fourth. So, rounds one and four even themselves out. Yep. The scores in two and three are the important ones as we continue on. Floyd Masson in the white. Mark Flanagan in the bat black. This is for the Australian Cruiserweight and Australasian Cruiserweight title. Tenor, three-minute rounds. There's more exclamation marks coming in this fight. You can just see it. Just way too many power shots being thrown by both boys. Eventually one's going to catch and somebody's going to get hurt again. You can see both, both boys doing a good job of trying to control that centre ring once again like a previous fight. Hassan backing his opponent now, trying to find that rip again to the body. Good shots there from Flanagan. Oh, doubling it up, just missing that second time. Oh, and a right hand. Marking on both guys already. Significant under the eyes. Two and three good shots there from Flanagan. Backing up my son. Oh, that is wonderful yeah, boxing yeah. from Mark Flanagan. Yeah, good variation of shots. Body to head. And genuine power in every one of those shots. He just loaded up with a massive bomb then, just missing the mark. Two and three taps there, and there's Masson comes back. Two left-hand leads. For Masson and tries to go back to the body. Oh, he's, he's hit him low there. That was very low. He'll catch it on replay potentially, but that was really, really low. He'll get a warning here. Tony Kittlewell over there helping Mark Flanagan. A few deep breaths. Count them. They're both there. Play on. Nothing intentional at all. Mark Flanagan knows that. Yeah. Once again, he's finding a home for that left hand. That's two and three good shots there from Masson in quick succession. Terrific fight. Oh, right hand just missing for Flanagan. 
punching in turns they are. And back to centre ring. Oh, Flanagan in close. Uh, they're not discriminating between the body. There you go, round number six, Tony Kettlewell. Yep, past the halfway mark now of this title bout. Masson trying. And double their... <laughs> double what they've done already. <laughs> Both absolutely aching, but battling through. Their, they're probably on their second or third win already by this stage. Both have been knocked down. One in the fourth. Floyd was down. Mark was down. Sorry, Mark was down in the fourth. Floyd was down in the first. first yeah. What a remarkable comeback from that it's been from Floyd. Mm. Yep. Trying to measure here is Masson trying to get his distance, trying to pop off his stronger punch with his left hand, which he just did then. Rocking the head back of Flanagan. Oh, and again. Yeah. Oh, the receipt from Sorry. Floyd. Both. There, there hasn't been any prolonged momentum shifts. It's been back, forth, back, forth. Exactly. Yeah. It was a good body shot once again from Masson, trying to double and triple it up, but it's just too hard because Mark Flanagan, so experienced, turns his opponent, holds his opponent. Oh, big swing and a miss. Those swings and misses like that, so deadly when you miss against a mirroring opponent. Yep. Righty, lefty, because everything's open for yep. them just to go power. Exactly. And you spend a lot of bickies throwing them as well yeah. because there's everything behind those shots. It really zaps the energy out of you. Masson trying to work all oh, good uppercut there in close. Trying to triple, double. Trying to do everything here that he can to get Mark Flanagan off his chest. But Mark, ever so experienced, he's just, he knows what to do. He's been in the trenches before. He's been, he's been to Russia and fought the Russian champion, yep. Lebedev. Look at this. They're into it. Two and three good shots there from Mark Flanagan. You could cut the ring in half and then half it again, and these two would be happy. Yeah, both boys. There's not going to be a lot of footwork in the next couple of rounds. Nah, not they're, at all. They're going to be right in each other's chest. Not at all. You can see both boys holding on for dear life now. As there's only 20 seconds left in round six. It feels like they've been 60. Punching on the break or a slip on the on the signage there from Mark Flanagan. Oh, five and six. Now, this is where it gets different for these two guys because as we move into round number seven, despite the fact they have sparred countless hours and they know each other so well, sparring doesn't end up like this. No. Where, where you're chest on chest and just looking for the, the one punch, punch hail maker. It's pulled up by that stage. Exactly. So this is probably unfamiliar territory for both these two guys. Yeah, and throw a bit of fatigue in there. They could get a bit wayward, these shots. Mm. And you can see there was a swing and a big swing and a miss there from Bam Bam Flanagan. There was a couple of good jabs, though. Oh, and a big right hand to follow. And doubling it up. The song's got to get back on that jab. Keep that measuring stick out. Backing away here, Flanagan. Oh, chopping body shots yeah. from Masson. Oh, and again from Floyd. How tough are these two boys? Both been down, the both head. ups, both throwing plenty of power shots. Another good shot there from Masson. The hands are slowly dropping of Mark Flanagan. Yep. Those body shots, they have an effect. No, they, they, uh, they stay with you. Yeah, they do, don't they? 
Oh, and he rips in again, does Floyd Masson. Then changes levels, then goes back up. When's the right time to stay low? When's the right time to go up? It's all about feel as we're halfway through round number seven. A battle for the Australian Cruiserweight and Australasian Cruiserweight titles at Eaton's Hill. You can see mouth really wide open now for Flanagan. He's starting to suck in the big ones here. And Masson... He can see something here. You can feel he's uh, he's putting the foot on the throat here because he's thrown a lot more punches than Bam Bam Flanagan in this last 30 seconds, and he's starting to hit at will. Here oh, we go. It had all the ingredients of being fight of the year. It's lived up to it. Masson can smell the end here. He's really starting to turn the screws on Mark Flanagan's career. Now they're shoulder on shoulder. Crossing left hand. Straight right from Masson. Flanagan will do this all day long. He's a fighter. Oh. Oh. Rock, head, head rock back. Then Flanagan strikes Masson with the first two punches of the combination. And that was a good body shot from Flanagan. And oh. there's three or four shots from Flanagan. Wow. Round number eight. And after what we've seen, it's going to be hard to beat. But these two, they may just do it. Three and four jabs there from Flanagan. Gets them back into center ring. Both boys, yes. miss, yeah, once again, coming together like two bulls. The left eye. Yeah, I just Floyd saw that. Masson. Just saw that. Heavily swollen, maybe cut. And they are ripping oh. each other together again. Changing levels, high to low. Looking for that opening, looking for that one shot. Flanagan, 25 wins, 18 knockouts. Masson, 10 wins, 7 knockouts. Both have the power, but under fatigue. Do they have the power in one punch? As Flanagan says, let's go. Oh, and a big right hand for Flanagan. He's calling the shots now. With his hands down, he's calling the shots. Oh. <laughs> Look at the gamemanship on both boys. Crazy. You'd never think they're friends. Nice work from Flanagan, slipping the two, keeping the punches short, back against the ropes, and he's trying to spin Floyd Masson here. Keep busy, on the front foot, spin him round, trap him in the corner. Oh, right hand landing there from Flanagan, and there's the receipt once again from Masson, three and four punches straight down the barrel. A minute remaining, round number eight. Oh, right hand hook there from Masson. In the middle of a Flanagan onslaught. Oh. Two 90 kilo blokes having a red hot crack. On the inside, Flanagan. Sucking the big ones in. Trying to stay at his distance for the moment as Floyd Masson, 30 seconds remaining, round number eight. And then to the body again. Yeah, both boys remarkably fit to go through this torture and still be on their feet and throwing the output for such big guys as a testament to their fitness, both boys. Yep, absolutely. Finishing the round has oh. been always enjoyable, the last couple anyway. Settled with half the titles, but bragging rights they're not willing to concede. So they step out. Out of their corner and out of their comfort zone again. Six minutes remaining. Floyd Masson in the white. Mark Flanagan in the black. Both guys 
have been down. So we're eight rounds complete. Round one, round four cancels each other out. So we're scoring two, three, five, six, seven, eight, of course. push their bodies to the extreme so far. The end of round number seven, amazing and Flanagan marches forward, throwing shots, punches in bunches if you like. Yep. Double jab and a right, all missing for Mark Flanagan. And there's a left scoring for Masson, but there is the comeback. Ford's productivity's just dropped a little. Yeah, he does. Yeah, a little bit. He's, he's almost had a half a round off here. Yeah. Needs to get back onto his jab. Oh, good shot there from Flanagan. Blood from the mouth of Masson, from the nose of Flanagan. Yeah, definitely having this round off Masson. Flanagan's been far superior in his dictating the pace of this round. A couple of fights tonight come to mind, this included, when you say, whatever the result, let's do it again. Yep. Good there right hand. Go. Yeah, there it is. Stepped up the power. Yep. Flanagan's head gets rocked backwards. Oh. It's Floyd Masson looking for the finish. Just over 30 seconds remaining in the penultimate round. Tony Kettlewell between the Flanagan skirting the perimeter of the ring. Masson, man in charge in the middle. We have just 10 seconds to go in round number nine. Oh, two, two, three, four good shots there from Masson. He closes out the round. He had the first half off. Mark Flanagan and these two legends. The Warriors, they embrace. They're mates. They like each other. They like each other's family. Yet they're standing there trying to finish the other man. And we have got three minutes to go to crown the Australian and Australasian Cruiserweight Champion. Again, you cut the ring in half, halve it again, and maybe go another time. These guys just happy to stand on each other's chest and wail away. They have punched in turn for 28 minutes. One drop each. Oh, oh good shot once again. Good body shot from Masson. Mark Flanagan's going to have sore ribs, maybe a floating rib in the morning. These body shots are just brutal by Floyd. And just look at the punch output for, yeah. for this weight division. It's unheard of. Ridiculous. These boys are cruiserweights. They're yeah. punching like lightweights. Oh, 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 two shots oh. from Flanagan. Oh, one just got caught on the point of the chin. Very dangerous for Masson. Is there one like twist? One last turn. Oh, four, five, six this. punches. <laughs> How tough are these boys? I said it at the start of the night. I repeated it myself across the course of the night. What Ace Boxing does and what Ace Boxing has done for 21 years is give you the best. It matches fights stylistically. We don't worry about the big names and padded records. What we don't worry about are 50-50 fights and presenting you with something you can enjoy. We've got one minute to go in our main event and you, you'd be the Grinch at Christmas if you weren't enjoying this. Floyd Mason and Mark Flanagan doing their thing in front of a sold-out crowd at Eaton's Hill in Brisbane. This is our last show for 2021. This is the last fight for 2021. And what a way to finish it. We are going to finish it in style. Two blokes at very different points in their career. 
but two blokes with a burning desire and a passion and a character driving and driving for success. They have put on a beauty. Now buckle up because there's 10 seconds to go. Mark Flanagan, Floyd Masson, they have done their thing for half an hour. Let's finish it off in style. Unbelievable fight. Judge Phil Gregory scored the bout 94-94, a draw. Judge Phil Austin adjudged the contest 96 to 92. Judge Roy Saunders adjudged the contest 96 to 92 to your winner by majority decision. And it goes to uh, the red corner, Floyd B O D Massa. The Australian and the Australasian champion. Decision 96 92, 96 92, 94 94. And there's no losers in that contest. No. Honestly, 